Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. Today we are going to be doing a love and relationship reading for Janae Iko and Big Sean. I'm excited to do this one. Janae is a very soulful singer who obviously is super emotional if you've listened to her music. So I'm excited to get into what her energy looks like, um, what kind of uh, stuff comes through the cards and her relationship with Big Sean. And so we are gonna be looking at um, their relationship history with each other, the present, and the soul connection between the two. So let's get right into it. This reading is for Janae Aiko and Big Sean. As always, I shuffled well off camera, but... I always like to shuffle some more. Janae Aiko and Big Sean. If you enjoy watching these readings, don't forget to leave a comment or a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let me know what readings you would like to see come up next. Okay, so with relationship past between Janae and Big Sean, Janae is kind of coming through on this side for me, whereas this side is more so Big Sean. Okay, so there was definitely some backstabbing and betrayal, um, possibly a third party interference, um, maybe even like <clears throat> like whatever it was it hit really close to home with with these two cards for Janae she really felt stabbed in the back by whatever it is that he did um lots of reckless behavior lots of thoughtless behavior um yeah just lot just just like a disregard completely um for the foundation of their relationship um, because they coming into the relationship with Big Sean, it was already like a familial tie. And so she felt violated in the past and basically had to come to the conclusion within herself what she was and wasn't going to put up with. And her energy, it's like for the first time in a relationship, she was completely thinking about what was the right move to make and it was not a heart-based decision it was not an emotion-based decision it was truly what is logical and what isn't logical and that's like um that feels like very foreign to how she would normally process things it would normally be like a lot of emotions and a lot of passions but in this case what he did was one of those things where she was like these are the facts um and i'm personally like i know that i don't deserve this kind of behavior and then on his side <laughs> so this all came to fruition in his life his relationship with janae and whatever the betrayal was in their past ended up having a more impactful of impact on him it was more it was like it was like an awakening actually um like this was a something at the soul level for him that he needed to grow from and it actually like uh like tore him up from the inside out it's like he imploded it's like uh it was like a torpedo and it just like shattered all of his insides and he was like not not at all prepared for it to be like that um it was very shocking um and it made him realize what he was truly passionate about and the things that he wanted to work on in himself um and 
he was hopeful about that because the connection between them is a very strong connection. That's why we have so many uh, major arcanas coming out. Like the past was a painful experience, but the magician for me suggests that it was like a fully necessary experience because she needed to realize her power as a woman. Um, <laughs> this whole thing feels very twin flamey already. I don't have the confirmation of that yet, but like just, just like the fire versus ice dynamic. Like I see that a lot, um, just like the opposites with a lot of like twin flame like energy. Anywho, um, this was something that was part of the manifestation of their journey. Um, this painful experience that they went through and the, th the three of swords suggests to me um, third party you know possibly like some infidelity kind of thing stabbing in the back and it was overall reckless like whatever it was it was it was really um, detrimental to their relationship so let's see where their energy is now Ooh. These cards are beautiful, just very lightweight. <laughs> Let's see what their energy is now. Calm, I'll tell you that much. Like in, in a zen place already. But we'll see what comes through the cards. Yep. This was definitely a rebirth. Absolutely. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, presently. She stopped hiding what her expectations were for him. Like, I feel like she used to tread lightly on exactly what she was expecting from him. Nah, like, kill that dead bat. That's not the case. <laughs> She's not holding back about what she wants, how she feels, um, what she expects, the kind of family she wants to build, the kind of security she wants to feel in the relationship, period. Like, he, he needs to know, like, he now knows that she's not playing. Like she's a very passionate woman. She's a very passionate lover. Um, but right now, if there is any fire energy in her chart, it is a blaze. Like she's she's not playing with him. She's, it's like, I'm a mother. I know exactly what I want. I don't have time for games. And either you're gonna love me as fiercely as I'm gonna love you or you're not. And for him, he realized that he had to do right period he had to do right by her he had to pull back and see the areas where he needed to grow in his relationships but also to understand like what is just like find clarity in who you want to be in this relationship with her and how important it is to you and when he sort of went through that tower moment and that process what came out which is actually super cool and i love okay so before i pull this i love the synchronicity here so we have <clears throat> the princess or the page of wands and the princess or, or the page of discs and then we have the prince of discs as well so like and then the king of wands so it suggests that <clears throat> their connection is really strong um, like on a um, spiritual level, their connection is very strong. So when he finally got some inner clarity on his relationship with her, he realized like this, this is, this is home. This is my queen. This is, you know, this is the person that I want to secure. I want to grow with. I want to build a family with. And all of what we went through this rebirth, this process of critical thinking, this process of heartbreak, this process of sadness, even moments where there were feelings of hopelessness, like it just wasn't going to get figured out. They're both in a place now where they have a clear understanding 
of what they want. And it's actually really, really good. I like that. So, so I, I would, so overall, super, super strong soul connection. Let's pull, let's look at that directly. Let's ask spirit, show us the soul connection between Janae and Big Sean. So much growth in this relationship on both sides. They're both better people because of everything that they went through, period. And she, it's because she's thinking more with her head and less with um, her emotions. And he's thinking less with his ego and more with his soul. Does that make sense? And that in and of itself is soul growth. It's a form of ego death on both sides. is so good oh yes <laughs> okay yeah so past life connection um past life connection could absolutely be twin flame because there was such a push and pull dynamic in this relationship a lot of soul growth um <clears throat> overall this really helped her move forward in her life as a woman um it helped her come into the divinity of who she really is all of the like inner um meditation thinking um processing uh, coming to terms with sadness, with painful experiences, coming to terms with her um, contribution to the relationship, whether that be positive or negative. Um, all of that was super critical in her soul journey. And it's not something that she could have done with anybody else but Big Sean. And that's what really gives me like past life connection vibes where like these are only lessons that the two of them could have given each other. He needed to learn uh, the value of family and the value of um, who he is in a relationship with his partner and he needed to come back to her with um, a better offering um, with respect with like he needed to come back and acknowledge all the ways that she had sacrificed in their relationship and um, you know if she sacrificed nine times he needed to come back 18 times uh, with with abundance, with love, with truth, with honesty, because with the Six of Cups in reverse, that's another thing um, that says like, oh, there's just such a past life connection. Like this, this relationship is nostalgic. It's a vibe. Like <laughs> it is one of those things that is destiny and meant to be. They feel super incomplete when they are not with each other, when they are not in each other's lives uh, with the Ten of Discs and the world. And together they feel like a family. So let's clarify why the hanged man came in at the bottom before we wrap this up. Let's clarify the hanged man. You know, it's saying deep insight to me. Like this relationship has given both of them such a deep insight on themselves and on each other. Okay, we had one card jump out. The eight of wands. Yeah, they communicate so much better now. No more third party BS. Yep, he is, he has figured out who he wants to be as a man. She, yeah, she's completely following her intuition. Yes, absolutely. Growth, period, growth. They have come into the authority of themselves through this relationship, and it really is a beautiful connection. All right, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I upload 
um, frequently here on Channeling Chinaz. And you can also connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, um, at Official Chinaz. And I will see you all next time.